radical. 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 Welcome to Show Off Saturdays. How's that angle, everybody? Is that angle good? I'm just chilling, leaning back in my chair. You know, I don't think I'm gonna even. Uh, don't think I'm gonna even bother to lift the games up, to even go through the cases. Well, I might do this right here. Okay, we'll, we'll try this out, right? Okay. Top left corner, we got Gears of War. Two disc. One disc, I think, is the additional. The additional uh, stuff you put in there for the Platinum Special Edition. Or maybe it's two separate discs and one is super special. I'm not sure. If that's the case, I'll probably just sell the one that's normal. Then we got Gears of War 2. Then we got Gears of War 3. Alright? I have not played a lot of the Gears of War series. I mean, Halo, that's that's my series. Gears of War, I went through a, I went through a bit where I was just trying to collect everything of the series. You know, all the Halos, all the Gears of Wars. You know, well, on 360 and everything. Uh, so, yeah. I'm not the, really the guy to talk to about Gears of War. Grand Theft Auto, though, yeah. I can tell you a lot about Grand Theft Auto. Well, before we get into talking about Grand Theft Auto, Gran Turismo Ace Pack. Three? Yeah. I, uh, I just got it real cheap, and I want some PlayStation 2 games. Haven't played it yet. But yeah, back on to this. We got the PlayStation 2 version of San Andreas. And disregard the price sticker. I mean, it's just like a random case and everything. Because it didn't have the original case. I just got it like that online. Uh, and then we got San Andreas for PC. I've shown you the PC disc before. I wonder what would happen if I tried to install that. Would something come up for Steam? I wonder. What would happen if I tried to install this on a current PC? Would it let me install it, or would something come up and uh, I, I don't know what would happen? Because this was installed on a, uh, a PC maybe 2006, 2007? But what would happen on a current PC? I don't know. Haven't tried. That right there, Grand Theft Auto 4. I tell you, compared to San Andreas, and you know what? I, I really can't... I could spend about 20, 30 minutes talking about the Grand Theft Auto series. But I'll tell you briefly, it's San Andreas, my favorite hands-down Grand Theft Auto game. And it's not even close. San Andreas is my favorite. Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, The Ballad of Gay Tony, and The Lost and the Damned, they, they, were, they were good. This whole package is pretty good right there. But a colossal letdown. Not graphic-wise, okay? Not story-wise, right? Good story, good graphics love the physics okay I think the car physics have not been outdone to this day in a video game those car physics have not been outdone even in GTA 5 was a step back as far as car physics so this this game a lot of people call it a masterpiece it's a, a lot of people's favorite game but to me it was a letdown compared to all the stuff you could do in San Andreas to this day what I want is a actual remake of San Andreas it's all I want. Just San Andreas with amazing graphics. Maybe they'll do it one day. GTA 5. I mean, really good game. You know, great game. Great game, and I don't have the uh, don't have the disc here. There's a story behind why I don't have the disc. I mean, I have it now on. I have it now on current gen, of course. Well, current gen, uh, the Xbox One generation. I have it on that. Now, GTA 4 and GTA 5, I bought those both on day one. GTA 4, I got it on day one uh, with the Xbox 360. Was a big reason I got the Xbox 360 arcade console, you know, was for GTA 4. And then GTA 5, that is one of the few games I'll actually pre-order. I rarely ever pre-order anything, but GTA 5, Rockstar, GTA 5, I will definitely always pre-order the mainline GTA games. GTA 6, yeah, I, I mean, I just trust in Rockstar. It's, they're not like, they're not like any other publisher. As far as, like, scope of the games, no one does it like Rockstar. These games you can get lost in. Literally, at this table right here, 
when it came to F, we talked about the Fallout games, uh, some of the Far Cry games, how many hours you could spend in those games. When it comes to these four games right here, well, these three games, when it comes to these three games, these are probably my most played games of all time, my most hours ever spent in video games in general, not just open world games, was spent in these three games right here. So it says a lot when you look at these open worlds. These are the best open worlds hand down, hands down the best open worlds in any video games. And some of the best games ever created right here in the bottom corner. Okay, so what you think about that? Oh, you're wondering, what's up with uh, that right there? Seems kind of out of place, doesn't it? I want to show you something. This is uh, the boss faceplate for that one radio. See that right there? I don't, I don't know if it shows up. Bad scratches. There's a scratch on the knob. Remember James? And it's a long story. I'll, I'll summarize it. Remember James? Uh, I used to do some podcasts with Kenny and James. Well, his radio went out in his Dodge Dakota. His Dodge Dakota's radio went out, and I had this I was selling, so I said, you know what? For you, I'll sell it to you for 75 bucks." And I paid 125 but not that big of a deal. I mean, it saves me the trouble of having to box it up and send it back to get the money back. And I'm like, you know what? I want you to have it for 75 And I would install it also. Two and a half hours it took me to try to make sense of what was going on. The hardest install job ever. And I didn't even get it installed. He had like a thousand wires behind that dash going in different directions. I don't know what the fuck was going on. And I... I was just about to give up. I actually went to an auto zone, waited in line at an auto zone, and you're always going to wait in line at an auto zone around 5, 6 in the afternoon. Regardless, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which auto zone you go to, you're going to have a long ass wait in line. But thankfully, I was behind a girl with a really nice, a really nice booty. So it made it a little made the wait a little bit nicer for me. Uh, but yeah, I, I got a wiring harness for 15 bucks, and I'm like, okay, this is going to be 90. Wiring harness, 15 bucks. So he's like, okay. I hook up the wiring harness, still doesn't work. It comes on before that briefly, but then when I put on the wiring harness, it doesn't come on. It doesn't come on. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I checked the fuse of the radio. I have no clue. I said, man, here's the deal. Uh, you can buy this for me. You can go somewhere, have it put in, and if everything's working fine, just pay me for the radio. And he's like, cool. But he wants to go and get his uh, harness problems fixed, and he said he'll buy the radio for me later. As I'm leaving the truck, because I'm in the driver's side, as I'm leaving the truck, I was in such a hurry, I was frustrated, I was in such a hurry to get out of there. Uh, something on the radio box caught. I think it caught maybe, uh, maybe the seat belt. And then the radio slides out, and then falls out, and then hits the pavement. So not only do I get scratches on that detachable face, uh, the radio, the front side is cracked. So maybe I can put it together with glue. It's still going to have a big-ass weird-looking crack in it. And then he, he heard the crack, but I tried to hide it because I didn't want him to feel bad. I didn't want him to feel bad, you know. I saved him the guilt of my radio possibly being broken. I, I scooped it up and I said, no, no, it's fine, you know, and I just detachable face came off. But I think he, he he heard the crack, right? So yeah, that's that's why I'm not really really that happy for this uh, show off Saturday. That's why I'm not even really getting up out of my chair because because of that. Oh and I got the money. I mean believe me, I got the money. I could buy ten more of those. You know, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, I, I'm financially secure. I just, it's the principle of it, you know? I hate fucking losing money. It's the principle of it. One of the reasons I have so much money right now is because through the years I've been so great at being able to save money and make money, you know? And like I said, I was going to lose 50 bucks on that because, you know, James is a really good guy and, uh, yeah, so I don't know. But, it, but yeah, these video games, again. What you think about these video games, huh? You know, leave it in the comment section down below. What are your experiences with these video games? And hopefully you had a you had a better better day than I had.